high, it's estimated that tens of thousands of vehicles cross this bridge on a daily basis. We spoke with some residents who have questions about how this is going to impact traffic in the neighborhood. And we also spoke with a city council member for this district who says he's concerned that people did not receive enough notice about a project that could impact traffic for potentially a year or more. Now, Caltrans plans to replace the deck of the Vincent Thomas Bridge, which connects San Pedro to Terminal Island. They say it's necessary to enhance overall safety and preserve the bridge's structural integrity. Now, the bridge connects San Pedro, Wilmington and Harbor City to Terminal Island, where there's many terminals transporting goods in and out of the harbor. The construction is expected to impact travel on State Route 47 and some nearby streets. Right now, Caltrans is in the process of finding out how much of an impact this would have on the community. LA City Council Member for District 15, Tim McCosker, says Caltrans is considering multiple preliminary options, either closing the bridge entirely for nine months to a year or leaving one lane open in each direction, but that would mean the project could take longer, possibly up to three years. Some longtime residents gave us their thoughts. Listen. That's the ideal situation is to keep it open, at, even if it's slow, keep it open. For us, it's we can work around it, no big deal. Okay, we're retired. But for the working stiff, so to speak, the working person, working families, I don't know. And the truckers, I don't know. That has a tremendous impact on moving people and goods to and from the island. And what it will do is create a lot of traffic on the streets that run through Wilmington, and as folks are coming down the freeway, they will have to make a decision to go to get off the freeway to get to Long Beach, for example, or to get to the island. And they'll be using other streets, PCH, um, Anaheim, Harry Bridges. And that was City Council Member Tim McCosker you just heard. He says Caltrans must come up with a plan for detour routes and mitigation measures. Construction is expected to begin fall 2025. Now Caltrans has held two public meetings and now has extended the timeline for public comments. A community has until May 26 to submit their input to Caltrans by email or mail. This project is estimated to cost about $630 million. And as I mentioned, it's expected to start in 2025. Reporting live in San Pedro, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.